Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Let's hop right into the message. Let's see who the Holy Spirit has a message for, whether it be a king or queen from the tarot deck, one of the four elements, or one of the twelve zodiacs. Holy Spirit, who do you have a message for? Libra, okay? So it's Libra's turn. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants my Libra collective to know. Holy Spirit. You said it's Libra's turn. So what is it that Libra's need to know at this time? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. We thank you for all of the insight, clarity, truth, and guidance that you have provided us with thus far. Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time? What is it that you would like for us to know? Let's see. Let's do one more shuffle, y'all. Messages from my Libra Collective Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. What is the message for my Libra Collective? Please and thank you. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Let's cut the deck and let's go. Six of Cups. Reconnection. Fond memories of someone wanting to rekindle a friendship here. Seven of Wands, but it's being blocked. This is the second time this has come out in a different form with a different deck, but this was for my Cancer Collective. Someone wanted to reconnect with my Cancers. It was a fire sign and a King of Pentacles, okay? They wanted to have a bright future. So this is also the energy for somebody, either this is you, Libra, or this is somebody wanting to reconnect with you. And I feel like this is somebody, a water sign possibly, that wants to reconnect with you. But they feel like you're blocking this future connection. Knight of Cups. Maybe you have them on block. This person could have been messaging you, Libra. A Pi I just was about to say a Pisces, King of Cups, then flew out here now, okay? So it could be a Pisces, King of Cups energy. This King of Cups, though, for some reason, I'm hearing that they're trying to be slick about reconnecting with you. Two of Pentacles, because they're trying to balance you and somebody else. Now, in the Cancer reading, Somebody might need to go watch that. It's some cross-watching energy going on for sure. But in that cancer reading, that person, it was two different scenarios going on. And in the other scenario, there was a energy who was trying to get, get a cancer to agree to like a poly third-party situation. And for some reason, I believe that this King of Cups is on that Three of Cups and flew out here, like I just said. He on that same shit, Libras, okay? He wants you to agree to reconnect with him, but you know that there's always going to be some type of third party, two of pentacles juggling happening with this king of cups. And you're just not willing to be a side piece, a third party. Knight of Wands, someone that he has this casual relationship with, but doesn't have to put any real effort or commitment into. Okay. What else Holy Spirit. For my Libras. We have the Eight of Cups. So you are also walking away from what no longer serves you. That's the energy. I mean we about to be walking into a beautiful. Bright. Happy summer. Some people are. Some people don't have bad days and tough times ahead. You know, that may be the energy for some others. But Libras, I feel like with this Knight of Swords that you took careful action and planned out your future in a way that wouldn't cause destruction. And part of that was getting away from this King of Cups here. Whether this is a masculine or a feminine to you. But this person most definitely got Pisces somewhere prominent in their chart. Okay? And you already know that it's going to be some sharing involved if you deal with this person, Libra. 
So you are breaking free of whatever type of love connection you had with this energy. And you are choosing to move in a way that's going to ensure that you do have a bright future. You're going to have a bright future whether you with this person or not. Wheel of Fortune and flew out here. Then popped out here, rather. It ain't fly, but it did pop on out here. Okay, Libras? You ain't pressed. You know you're going to be on the top of the wheel, whether you deal with this person or not. That's what they're going to have to understand. That's the truth and clarity that they're going to have to get, that your future is bright. You have a revitalized sense of self. You don't have to settle for being in some type of poly connection because I'm really picking up that a lot here lately. Like people are starting to know their worth and know that they don't have to be in no third, fourth, fifth party connections to have a partner, a devoted, loyal, faithful partner. Okay, people slip up. People do cheat. I ain't sitting up here saying like, Oh, if they, they have a, make a mistake and they cheat on you, they ain't no good, fuck them. That's not what I'm saying. But someone who has informed you with their behavior, their words, their actions overall, that they're going to deal with a third party no matter how much you love, care, and commit yourself to them, that's not something that you have to settle for, okay? That's not something that you have to readily accept in order to receive love from anybody. And a lot of people are in that energy. And Libras, y'all there as well. Okay? You want justice for your life. Here y'all go. And you want the scales to be balanced in your favor. And you know you accepting to be a you accepting a third party situation is not balanced you balancing the scales in your favor. You deserve an Ace of Pentacles partnership. The, the best that it can get here. And that's what you are holding out for. Temperance. That's exactly what you're holding out for. Okay? You know eventually the universe will balance things in your favor. Because look at that rainbow that's being balanced between those two cups. That's your future. You know that the Most High God is going to balance out the future in your favor. You know? It's all about divine timing. You don't have to settle for this person who wants you to accept their third-party situationships. That's how they come. And it's like they they have already let you know they going to do their thing. Maybe they feel like you out here doing your thing, Libra. Clarify. Because this, this, this King of Cups is in sad. And then look what then came out here now. Page of Cups. Ballet of Cups. This person thinks that you're out here doing your thing. That you are secretly giving love to other people, Libra. So that's why they're not willing to fully settle down. Is Libra out here making slick hierophant? No. I was just about to ask. Is this Libra energy I'm picking up on making slick love offers behind this King of Cups back? And the hierophant flew out here. You have decided that that was the person that you was going to be with, and you were faithful to them. You were in that traditional energy of sticking with your partner, being in a monogamous commitment, and you were not stepping outside of that commitment that y'all made to each other. But they did, okay? The Seven of Pentacles. It was in reverse, but I feel like it was in reverse the last time I used this deck. And I just missed it and not turning the card over. But I feel like either way, this Pisces is going to learn, this King of Cups is going to learn that what they chose to invest in ain't got nothing on my Justice Libra energy. And you all have learned that if you invest in this person, you will not get what you deserve or desire, what you're destined to have with this Wheel of Fortune. You're going to get this instead with this Devil card here. Okay, and I feel like in a, co a collective reading I did on my other channel, there was this type of energy. It was something about a king of swords who was getting two Pisces 
energy confused. One of them was good. One of them was so good. Okay. And I feel like this Libra has come to some type of real, realization about the one that wasn't good. That they are karmic. Queen of Cups. Damn, I think she did come out as the devil, Queen of Cups. I don't know, child. Sometimes this shit be blurring together, honey, how these people be behaving and acting. But at least this Libra is getting, he's getting it. Okay? If this is a masculine. This, is, this could be a masculine for some of y'all, and this could be a feminine for some of y'all. That's what I'm seeing. This person definitely got Pisces in their chart, though. So you getting it. Whether it's a King of Cups Pisces to you or a Queen of Cups Pisces to you, you know this person comes with the drama with this Five of Wands here. You know, you realize what type of energy they bring into your life. And that's a lot of chaos, conflict, and confusion. Okay? 11-11 on the clock. You can see... What it's going to be with this person if you continue to deal with them and you're done. That's what I'm hearing. What's going to be the future outcome for my Libras at this time, Holy Spirit? What can they look forward to moving forward, Holy Spirit? The Empress child, a King of Pentacles. These, this is what y'all can look, look forward to because I'm telling you, I'm picking up some, on some female. Look, I can't hardly talk. Because it's hit me too fast. I'm picking up on some female Libras. And I'm picking up on some masculine Libras. Okay. And for some of y'all. Y'all got a king of pentacles coming towards you. For the other of y'all. Y'all got an empress. That you're about to obtain. And both of these people are going to equal, equally give to and receive from you. Both of these people are going to give you the partnership that you deserve, the respect that you deserve, and the commitment that you deserve, okay? Whether you are this masculine Libra energy I'm picking up on, or if you are this female Libra energy, feminine energy. This, the, both of these energies that are coming towards you all are going to be a result, a direct result, of you leaving this king and queen of cups behind and not settling for a third party situation. We have the five of cups. This five of cups is how this water sign feels about losing y'all Libra. They're, they're in regret. They, they, it's like they don't know how to tell you that they want to commit to you because they swear that you out here messing with somebody else too, but you not. And that's the disconnect between y'all. Because I really feel like if this Pisces energy, whether it's a masculine or a feminine to you not, okay? I really feel like if they could get some type of assurance or clarity about what you do when they're not around... They would be faithful to you. But that that is going to be a trust issue in the future. Because you will always have to be proven to this person that you're not doing what you're not doing. In order for them to do right by you. Because you ain't out here going and cheat with nobody else just because they are. Clarify Holy Spirit. Page of Swords. They think you are. It's almost like they be trying to search for evidence that you are Libra. But you're not. I think you got evidence that they are. Knight of Pentacles then came out here. Okay? So you have evidence that they are messing around. But there's no evidence that you are. And baby, they done tried to find some. So this person got some insecurities that I feel go past, go beyond you and your connection with them, hangman, this Pisces. Baby, if this ain't a spinoff of that collective reading, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all need to go look for that title, Libras, because that, that applies, and it ain't just a feminine, masculine, masculine, feminine situation. It's both here, okay? 
But this Pisces got some enlightenment that they need before they can fully commit to another with this Two of Cups. It's some growing up, some healing, some karma even that they need to work through before they could be in a position to give you what you deserve, Libra. And I feel like you have finally accepted that. Okay? Any final messages for my Libra's Holy Spirit? Anything else here for my Libra Collective? Judgment. You, you've finally awakened to that. You're not confused anymore. That motherfucker was confused in that other ring, but like, but it was some spell work going on there. But you, Libra, whoever Libras I'm talking to now, you are enlightened. You have awakened. You're not waiting on this person to, to awaken and become enlightened. Okay? You are moving on with your life. And there is a com committed partner who is going to give you exactly what you were trying to give this hangman, king, and queen of cups energy. Okay? And I am going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps my Libra collective. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.